Perhaps the most astonishing example of this is the miracle of Samia that started in Port Said, Egypt, and spread all the way to the United States. Bishop Tadros of Port Said, a witness to both the Samia miracle and the miracle of the oil, tells the story in vivid detail. Till she uh, became a member, active member in the church. Of course, with the evil life she was living, she uh, uh, practiced some things like smoking and drugs and whatever, which created some problems in her lungs and later in her breast. And she was suffering a lot of uh, some clots in her lungs, like clots of blood, and as a severe pain from her breast. And she went to the doctors and they insisted that she should have a, a surgery. And then she said, I came now to the church and you tell me about the miracles of saints and, and Virgin Mary performing miracles and many other saints perform miracles. Could they make a miracle to me? I don't want to have anyone touch my, my body. So she was a little uh, um, anxious about uh, having the saints make a miracle to her. And she was asking very, very deeply with tears in her eyes, Virgin Mary, try to do something for me. I don't want a doctor to touch my body and cut my breast, whatever, it's going to be needed. Because the symptoms were uh, symptoms of, uh, of uh, tumors. Because uh, from that severe pain she had and, and bleeding, she was, uh, the doctors put a bandage tape around her breast and, and they said, well, we have to make a surgery. At the night of the surgery, it was 19th, February 1990, uh, in the house of one of the priests here, which was called Father Paula, uh, uh, Virgin Mary appeared to her in the middle of the night. And she, Virgin Mary, together with Saint Bishoy and Saint Abenou, made the miracle to her. I have part of the bandage tape, I can show it to you right now. And of course, the other part within the church, here, this is part of the bandage tape, which I took. Here's the blood. The crosses are still there. This was done by Virgin Mary to show that it was, it was just like that when certain her breast. It was a long bandage tape, and the other part is in the church of uh, Saint Bishoy. Uh, of course, after that, the people began to, uh, to suspect, how can a lady living an evil way of life, Virgin Mary, make a miracle to her? So God gave a special sign, uh, a special gift to this lady that the oil comes out of her fingers. And this was for about six months until all the people believed that this is uh, a, a, a woman who were evil, living an evil way of life before, but now she is She's repented and she was accepted. God has accepted her repentance and her confession to become uh, clean again and to come to the church again. The oil came from Samia's hands and fingers for six months before it stopped. In this video, Samia's hands are being wiped of oil in front of the church congregation during her confirmation as a nun. Here, she is slowly filling a glass with the mysterious substance to the amazement of the gathered clergy. Here, Samia's hand is guided by a priest as the astonished congregation watches oil seep from her hand to a glass. Finally, Pope Shenouda III assembled the tribunal of bishops and doctors and officially declared the events surrounding Samia to be a miracle. The events continue to this day, says Bishop Tadros. The Virgin Mary reminds us with a miracle by having some of the oil comes out of the pictures of Virgin Mary. And even if I took the picture here with me, here in the um, bishopric house, and we put another picture in St. Bishoy Church, the two pictures get oil out of them every year at the same time, the third week of February. And thousands of people come and see the wonderful thing of the oil coming out. It has no color, just like looking like a perfumed oil. Virgin Mary had given to us its natural oil like that. Doesn't have any color, just white. But its smell is very, very deep 
and many miracles have been performed through this oil. Bishop Tadros invited us to the bishopric, where he gladly showed us some of these oil living icons. Signs of the oil on the icons was evident to both our eyes and in the stains at the bottom of the icons and by feel. Oil was still clearly present at the icons. In this video, a group of priests are shown transferring oil collected in a plastic bag from one of the icons in Port Said to bottles for transfer to other Coptic churches around the world. He also showed us the report of the medical committee appointed by His Holiness Pope Shenouda III, proving that what happened to Samia on that night in 1990 was indeed a miracle. And of course, the newspaper articles dated February of 1990, which stand as the first mass media story of the event to be presented to the public. There were rumors in Port Said about an apparition of the Virgin Mary performing a miracle on a Christian lady. She had cancer of the breasts that was removed by the Virgin. We asked Bishop Tadros why God makes his presence known through oil. It seems to me it's just like to remind us that the saints are with us and they are making miracles and, and they are not, we are not alone. So it's reminding us with the miracle, when the original miracle happened in 1919, and also to encourage the people to have faith. The Church of St. Bishoy in Port Said has received thousands of letters from those who have been healed by the oil from the Virgin Mary icons. This one is from a man whose blindness was cured by the oil from one of the icons. Others speak of healing from cancer, infertility, arthritis, and so on. These letters bear witness to the power of miracles, modern day miracles in people's lives. And these miracles all represent the divine confirmation of the miracle that took place with Samia in 1990. But wait, the miracle of Samia doesn't stop here in Egypt. Rather, it goes on to the Western world. In May of 1990, Bishop Tadros visited Cleveland, Ohio, where he told a congregation of cops the story of Samia. Yes, I took the bandage tape, this bandage tape I showed to you right now, to the city of Cleveland just a few months after uh, this miracle. I think it was in April or May 1990. I don't know exactly the day. So I was talking to him that about the saints, and we love the saints, and their work with us. And I gave them example that Virgin Mary had performed a miracle with us, uh, with a lady uh, in, in Port Said. And uh, before the end of my speech, I said, well, uh, the, the time of miracles is still existing. And it's not finished by this miracle even. It could continue. But it's up to the saints and up, up to God who will let the saints make miracles. And let us make a praising hymn to Virgin Mary. Once we started making the praising hymn to Virgin Mary, the oil came out of the two icons hooked to the altar. Virgin Mary and Jesus. And he didn't notice that. I was very busy with the hymns and the doxology, so I didn't pay attention. But the people were looking something. I didn't know what it is. Until I finished the hymns, I said, Bishop, don't you see something coming out of the picture of Virgin Mary? I said, well, I didn't notice that. Let me so, so I found the oil coming of it. And all the people of the church were anointed. I took the oil and anointed the people as a blessing. And in no time, they called their friends and relatives with the cell phones. The church was full of people for, for weeks and weeks after that. And the media came and made a lot of reports. It was really something very remarkable. The mysterious clear oily liquid is seeping from two icons on the walls of the Egyptian church, and some 15,000 people have flocked to receive the cure so far. WKYC's Tom Sweeney has the story. The church building is two years old. The Coptic religion is 1,539 years old. It is the Catholicism of ancient Egypt. The icons are pictures painted in Egypt and brought here 11 years ago. The story of miraculous happenings begins on May 15th of this year. A light, oily substance began appearing on and dripping down the picture of the Blessed Mother. Come from her neck all the way unto her feet. Someone noticed some oil come from the face of the Lord here. It was like a sweating and it started from the forehead and the eyes on the face. And when it is accumulating in certain areas, it starts to dripping down. 
There are 17 icon portraits, but no one can explain why these two are generating liquid. Father Mikhail says the spontaneous event is a miracle. It is a spiritual sign that God used it to prove that he exists, he loved us, and he took care about us. Today, people from all over Northeast Ohio came to visit the icons at St. Mark. Some were hoping the icon's miracle would rub off on them. Visions are powerful in modern events, says Bishop Tadros, ones that are with us all the time. This will strengthen your faith in preparing yourself for eternal life.